used to be barbed wire here. I don't see it anymore. Let's see what's going on in here then. That's a good one. Another good one. Just don't be a pike. Man, it's pulling me. Well, I uh, just put my third 20-incher in the boat, 20 and a quarter. Uh, of course, the GoPro, I'm not kidding, literally less than a minute before that, uh, ran out of batteries. Did the beep, you know, I was in current, wasn't going to stop, but I'm also not going to pass up an area to cast. So, made a cast and bam, I thought it, well, actually he missed it, he missed it twice, came back for it on the third time. Um, I thought it was a 21-incher, but no, it was just a another chunk and uh, of course the GoPro was dead and I, I figure well at least my front camera was on and I had the front camera hasn't been on all morning even though I thought I turned it on so um, 
luckily we've got two other big ones on camera for the most part. Uh, this one you missed. I'll put a picture in here, but uh, it's just the way it goes. It's not always perfect when it comes to filming, fishing, trying to multitask, do different things. But yeah, so it's uh, not even 7.30 yet. So we've got three 20 inches in the boat before 7.30. I started about six, it's been an hour and a half. So pretty good day of fishing so far. Um, this is a shorter stretch. I plan on getting done early because I have to drive to uh, um, my buddy's place after this, which is three and a half hours. So I'm gonna try to get off the water early, but I'm not gonna complain about uh, having four 20 inch fish in the boat quick so four total overall three just this morning alone so um, I'm gonna get back to it I've got a couple portages I know coming up ahead uh, not my favorite thing to do but it is what it is so let's get to it see ya That's a pretty good one. Took me for a ride. God, another thick one. Goodness. Killed that water.
Gotta be a solid 19 incher. Yep, 19 on the dot. It's a pig. Maybe. God, crushed it. Not as big as the other ones, but sure felt like it. Sure felt like it. Dang. I'm gonna shake. This fish this size, for whatever reason, this river pull like mad. I don't get it. They pull as hard or sometimes harder than big ones. It's insane. some grass or something but oh, it came off that was a giant dang it Well, this last stretch wasn't as productive as I wanted it to be, but hey, uh, it's been a great morning. It's only uh, 9, 9.30, uh, or maybe 10 o'clock by now, but to have as many fish as, I've, as I have caught today, um, before this time, and the size, I'm not going to complain. I'm a little salty. I missed that big one up there, but I think in total, my best five went 100 inches or very close to it today. There was that one in that little cow pasture stretch that I didn't measure, but was a solid fish, 18, maybe. Um, I'm not quite sure. But uh, put three over 20 in the boat today. Uh, yesterday had that 19.75 really close to 20, and then we had another 20 before that. So overall, my best five for the trip broke 100 inches of smallmouth. So I said that was my goal. You know, ideally I would have had five fish over 20 inches, but. Again, I'm not going to complain. A hundred inch bag of smallmouth, five fish. Wow, it's been it's been awesome. Um, it's been rough at times. It's been a struggle with the trees, uh, getting hung up, getting snagged, getting tired, getting just beat down. But um, that's what it's all about. So I've had a great trip. This is my last day. 
Uh, from here, I'm heading over to uh, the uh, to the eastern part of the state to meet my buddy Scott. Uh, we're going to camp and uh, fish for two days on a river up there, so should be pretty secluded. I'm going to take some video of that. I really don't have too much to say. Uh, I might I might turn the camera back on and go fish this eddy down below the bridge, um, but I'm not going to take my kayak down there because I don't feel like paddling out. So uh, I'm going to load some things up even before that, maybe grab a rod and run for it real quick. But uh, if we don't have anything worth sharing from that, then, you know, I'll see ya. Uh, in another part of the state, more secluded, uh, cut off from humans, hopefully, um, and we'll get some big ones there, so, see ya.